everyone this is Inma and today I would like to make a special video to review this device here which is called Tourbox uh, it was sent to me by the people from Tourbox for free in order to make a review I asked if it was okay to make a honest review in case there was something I didn't like and such and they were okay with it so that's what I'm going to do Okay, so what is Tourbox exactly? Um, this is a device uh, where each key can be customized with a shortcut. For example, you can make this one console set to undo on whatever software you are using. You can customize it for different kinds of softwares. But on this video, I'm going to focus on Clip Studio Paint, which is the one that I use the most. Before I forget, uh, the people from Toolbox gave me uh, a code which you can use to get a discount from this device in case you want to buy it and also a referral link which you, you can use to get it if you want. I don't know if uh, using the link automatically gives you the discount, you will have to check that out. And I don't know how long this uh, discount is going to be available either but well, it doesn't hurt. If you want to buy it, you can give it a try using the code that you will see on the video description. I think, first of all, what I think makes this uh, device a bit more special than others that I have seen on the market is the fact that it has two wheels and this uh, slider thing here which normally, uh, at most you get one of these, but not the wheels. For example, um, the one that comes with my Cintiq, which is this one, has this wheel here, which is um, tactile, but it doesn't work so well, to be honest, so I have never used it. So when I received this one, I was uh, excited about the wheels because there are some customizations that I cannot do with uh, normal uh, keys, which I will explain later. Another good point of uh, Toolbox is the fact that you can use it whether you are left-handed or right-handed. Uh, this might not be important for many people because most people are right-handed, but I'm left-handed, so I need to use it with my um, right hand because I'm drawing with my left hand. And it works just the same. I mean, it's very easy to use with my left hand. In fact, it has a button here on the side that is easy to press with my thumb and such. And you cannot say this about all devices out there, sadly, <laughs> but well. Now, uh, the weight, it is a bit heavier than it looks. So is that a good or a bad point? It depends on what you want it for. For me, I wanted to have it on my desk and the weight makes it very stable. Like I'm using it and it's not moving on the table. So that's, for me, it's good. But if I wanted it uh, to travel, for example, if I wanted it to be portable, I mean, you can, you can travel with this, but it's heavier than it looks. So just take that into account. If this is for traveling, uh, then you need to take into account the whole weight of uh, your luggage. Uh, regarding the drivers, they are easy to install, but uh, when I was installing it, uh, Windows couldn't recognize the developer, so it popped a message saying that they didn't, they didn't recommend me to install these uh, th these drivers. I hope they will fix that in the future. But for now, uh, the moment I installed it, I got that message. So for me, that is uh, one of the bad points. Now let's see uh, what the console looks like. As you can see, you can have more than one profile. It comes with a few profiles by default, but none of them worked for me because they were for Photoshop or Lightroom, etc. 
And I have two profiles. One is for Clip Studio Paint, which is the one that I'm going to review on this video. And one for Filmora, which is the program that I use to edit my videos. When you mouse over one of the items, it will lighten up on the corner, on the left corner, so that you know exactly what, what you are customizing. All you have to do is to click and then insert um, the shortcut that you want it to have. And you can also give that shortcut a name, which is useful so that you always know uh, how you customized it. Because uh, personally, I don't remember all my shortcuts. I just know them by name. So, As you can see, uh, wheels uh, have an option called slow, which is so that when the effect takes place, uh, it doesn't go too fast. So depending on what you want it for, you might want to uh, enable that option or not. For example, I use the knob to increase or decrease uh, my brush size and I didn't want the brush size to change too drastically in, uh, in very short time, so I uh, enabled the slow option. Then, um, even though there aren't many buttons on this device, uh, you can actually combine some keys with, on, uh, with other keys. In the end, you get around 40 options to customize this device. Um, some of the options are very easy to press, like, for example, um, this combination here is easy to press, but there is a combination with this and this, and that one, that's a bit harder. <laughs> so I'm not sure if it's comfortable to use all the possible combinations out there, but um, so far I didn't need uh, that many shortcuts, so that's okay. So when programming uh, one of these keys, um, at first I thought, okay, but if I have to press these two keys at once to get one effect, it's going to be a bit hard because I might uh, press one before the other. But uh, there is an option that you can add to these keys where uh, the action is only performed after you let the key go. So you can start by pressing and then press the other one and that's it. So it's not as hard as I thought it would be because of uh, that option. There's also the option to repeat the action uh, while you have the key pressed, which is also useful, especially for me, for the pad here. So far, the customization is really good. I really like the different options that it has. But there are two things that really bothered me when I checked what I could and couldn't do. Um, the first one is that there is no option to open uh, some other software. I have a different device um, around my desk, uh, which came with that option and I customized it to open the calculator. This one doesn't have that option. I know there is a way to add um, a customized shortcut to open the calculator uh, anywhere on my computer. So I tried that. I gave it a shortcut and then I introduced the shortcut on my toolbox device. But for some reason, it takes a few seconds to open. And I don't know why. Maybe it's not a problem of this device, but uh, a problem of my computer being too slow. <laughs> I don't know. But yeah, that for me was a small bad point. And another small bad point is that I wanted to customize uh, the device to have to control Spotify. Because while I'm working, I'm used to having a key where I can, which I can press and go to the next song. But uh, there is no multimedia uh, options here. So the only thing I can do is to look for the shortcut in Spotify to go to next song and add it to one of the keys. 
the problem is that uh, that shortcut overruns one of my shortcuts on Clip Studio Paint. So while I'm using Clip Studio Paint, I cannot apply that shortcut uh, for any software outside Clip Studio Paint. So it means that while I'm using it, I cannot skip to the next song by using that uh, shortcut. So in the end, uh, there's no multimedia shortcuts for this device, which I hope that um, they fix in the future. I mean, this is a software thing rather than a hardware uh, thing. So I think it, it should be easy to uh, add that option. Okay, enough with the console and how it works. Let's see how I actually use this on Clip Studio Paint. On Clip Studio Paint, you can go to File, Shortcut Settings, and you can customize everything on the software. You can give a shortcut to absolutely everything from an auto action to switching to a different tool, switching between colors, etc. So this is where this kind of device comes in handy. So you can customize your tour box with uh, the typical shortcuts that you use. For example, the typical ones I use are um, an, an auto action to create a um, layer to shade, which is created in multiply blending mode, etc. Uh, one to change the color of the whole layer, which I use to edit the line art. One to select the current layer, etc. etc. Um, I didn't want to have the toolbox with the exact same customization that I did for my tablet keys, so I made something new, which I'm very happy with, I have to admit. Let's see. First of all, I use the D pad to move around the canvas when it's zoomed in. I applied the send continuous command function so that I just need to leave the key pressed for it to keep working. I use the scroll to zoom in and out and when I press it, it adjusts the canvas to the size of the screen. This is very, very helpful. I use the dial to rotate the canvas and when I press it, the rotation is uh, reset so it goes back to the normal angle. Uh, I use the knob to increase or decrease brush size, as I explained before. Um, like I said, this is something that I tried to do with the touch dial that comes with my tablet, but it was very hard to use and it didn't work right. So I prefer to have something solid like this, which works just fine and it's very easy to use. I use the C1 button to start and end a quick mask and the C2 button to make the border of a selection visible or invisible. I combined these two keys so that they worked on similar things so that I could remember because I have a goldfish memory. I'm using the tall key to copy and the short key to paste. Again, I used um, related actions for these keys because they are next to each other and also I told you before that you can combine uh, keys so this is what I did with these two keys I'm using the tall key plus the C1 button to duplicate a layer it's related to copying because it's duplicating and I'm also using the tall key plus um, the C2 button to make a copy of all visible layers, which is also something that I use a lot. Then I'm using the short key plus C2 because it's right on top of it to paste a layer in place. You might not use this option much, but uh, I use it a lot when I'm putting my webtoon together because the file is really long and if uh, when I'm on the lower part of the file if I paste uh, normally it everything will paste at the top of the file and sometimes I want uh, things to be pasted um, where I'm looking so that's what paste a layer in place does I'm using the side key to perform an auto action that I created for the line art of my webcomic and 
uh, this one is very important I'm using the top key to press X and what does that do uh, well on clip studio paint when you press C um, you switch between the color you're using and the transparent color that is something that I customized on my tablet pen I have it on one of the buttons so that I can easily switch from drawing to erasing but uh, I was missing something to switch quickly from the main color to the sub color and that's what I did with the top key so this is very useful when I'm sketching because I sketch on many layers so sometimes I want to erase something but I cannot do it by switching between main color and transparent color because uh, whatever I want to erase is not on the same layer <laughs> but because this is just a sketch I can erase by using white so I put white as my secondary color and I switch from painting, painting with black and painting with white uh, by pressing this uh, top key so to summarize uh, this has some bad points but overall I think this is a very good device and you can tell it's good quality from the performance of the keys and I expected to either keep using my um, the one that comes with my Cintiq or switch to this one but in the end uh, I found that a combination of both is really helpful for me so yeah I'm gonna keep using it so if you don't have any device like this or like this I mean you know what I mean uh, this is a good option definitely and whether you want to buy this one or any other device what I do recommend is that you use this kind of thing this uh, keys for shortcuts because they are going to make your workflow so much faster at first it might be a bit difficult to use like I have to get used to uh, working on this instead of doing it the way I did before but once you get used to it you go so much faster I hope this video was useful if you were considering this device also remember that I have a discount code that you can use on the video description and our referral link which means if you buy uh, from my link uh, I will get some income from that which is good but it's not necessary if you want to buy it from somewhere else just do it it's no problem at all anyway I hope this video was useful and if you have any question uh, just ask on the comments and I will try my best to uh, explain whatever was left unexplained on this video. Thank you very much for watching and see you next time. Bye bye!